Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie here and today I'm going to make my own funnel tray and I'm going to show you how. It's very simple, a lot of fun and cost effective and you're also upcycling. So um, I've taken this food packaging box that otherwise would have ended in the recycling bin and I'm going to turn it into a funnel tray to use um, for my embossing powders and other you know little bits that I need to put back into a smaller container and I'm just using um, some glue to glue up the open side and then just masking tape to go around um, edges and corners seal it up and just to make sure it's nice and smooth Now once I've cut down the sides to the height that I want the box, I'm using, I'm cutting out um, a, a, a U shape or a round shape on one side um, to make it easy to, you know, pick up with your hand um, and then putting a little thumb hole in there. So you see it makes it easy to lift and maneuver. Um, and I just use a little protractor type ruler there to um, just create the, the shape. And I'm using these two extra pieces, uh, or this extra piece, and I'm gonna cut it into two um, to make, um, I guess you'd call them gutters, or you know, little side panels, as you can see how I'm positioning them to um, allow me, uh, or allow the whatever's in the tray to flow to the opening of the funnel. I hope that makes sense. And for the funnel, I just used a stencil with different shapes um, to make a, a mark for the hole and then just cut it out with the box cutter. Um, I'm using the ruler here just more to find the center of the, the box. So I kind of have it even, but like I said, there's no real measurements going on here. It's kind of eyeballing it. Um, my friend and artist, uh, Paula Keen made her own because she didn't want to buy a funnel tray for her embossing powders and so I got the idea from her and um, kind of making it my own but it's very similar to hers um, and you see these bits here panels are gonna go in like that to make sure everything flows towards that opening and what you want to do as well is because it's a thinner cardboard you want to reinforce that with um, some masking tape and just go all around take your time and um, reinforce that opening
taken some um, other packaging. It's a thinner cardboard um, because I want to make a funnel. And um, this is just a little more flexible for me. And honestly, I did, really didn't know how I was going to make this, uh, kind of doing it on the fly. Um, so I used the rectangle that was too big and then so I cut it down a little bit more and make a smaller triangle or a smaller rectangle um, and it didn't work it was just it was just too bulky or too thick um, uh, after I'd rolled it up and then I'm thinking about it thinking about it and I said well let me cut it into a triangle I remember in culinary school we would make little funnels for frosting or you know piping bags um, temporary ones with um, like butcher paper and um, so I remembered that that clicked and I was like well let me cut it into a triangle which is how you do the the frosting one and um, see if that works and that's what I ended up doing and that did work Once I figured out how to make the funnel, all I do is take some masking tape and wind um, the entire thing inside and out to make a nice smooth um, surface for you know the product to flow out of. To attach the funnel to the um, outside of the box, I just um, used the masking tape again to um, to tape all around it and, and to secure it. Um, as you can see here, just you know, carefully going all around and making sure that there's a good seal and then it holds um, as well. And you want to set it where it's not hitting the, the surface of your table. Here's the first gel print I'm using. This is a little froggy. And whatever stencil designs you see, these are available at pmartist.com. Um, and uh, you can see, so you can get those over there. Um, just trimming this up and I'm gonna use um, Mod Podge to um, get everything glued in and also to give it a nice smooth finish. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the yellow print to um to create two borders for the base because or the inside 
because the frog print doesn't go all the way to the sides and it leaves a little gap. So just using the yellow paper to fill in. two rectangles I cut um, for the inside I forgot to hit record on the camera but I covered those in gel prints too um, so those are ready to go those are the green ones um, and now I'm just um, gluing down um, more gel prints on the sides to um, make it a little more cohesive and make it look fabulous and again I'm just using uh, Mod Podge this is a matte Mod Podge, not the glossy one, but you could use that. You can use a matte acrylic medium um, or, you know, just if all you have is Elmer's glue, just use some Elmer's glue. Um, just take your time and make sure everything is, you know, sticks well before you, you know, you keep going. Um, and I found at least with the, with the ones that I glued um, the green prints on that you see at the top, um, right of your screen um i sanded the the glossy surface of the packaging and that helped adhere it better um i failed to do that on the box the actual box but it still worked um so you know that's an option is sanding the um the glossy surface
So now I'm ready to glue in the two rectangle pieces on the inside. And for that, I'm using um, some fabric fix adhesive because it's, it's stronger um, and it will hold a lot better than um, the glitter glue or I wouldn't use my potch to glue this um, and I'm clamping down um, all around it just to hold it in place because it takes a few minutes for that glue to to dry up um, but once it's dry it's really strong um, and will um, make sure everything stays in place. And then what I did um, next is just took some green acrylic paint and I painted the inside of the funnel um, just to make it look all more, you know, cohesive. And then I um, also took the paint and just painted up some of the edges just to kind of tie it all together and make it look, you know, look a little bit better. And then for added decoration, I took my one inch hole punch and some of the gel print scrap, um, punched out some circles and then just glued them all around in, in different spots. I hope you enjoyed um, this video. I had a lot of fun making this project and um, I hope you give it a try, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, certainly drop them down in there uh, in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you soon.